Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com and I thank you so much for joining me. So I wanted to do a look that was inspired by um, the changing of the seasons and fall is approaching. So I tried to add some purples and of course there's some browns in there um, and a deep lip is always really pretty in fall and winter. So I, um, I mixed two colors together to get this lipstick, uh, but if you guys care to learn how I did this look, I certainly do hope you will stay tuned. Thanks. Okay guys, we are going to start this look by outlining the eyebrow. And I'm going to take a pencil from MAC called Spiked, and it is a MAC brow pencil. And I'm gonna draw the extension of my brow, just like that and then outline the lower portion of my brow. Okay, and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrow with a color that we're going to use several times throughout this look. This is a color called Saddle. It's kind of a reddish brown and it's from MAC. Okay, I'm happy with the shape of that and the color of it. So now we can move on to our base. Typical me, I'm going to use a paint pot from MAC in a fleshy, kind of beigey yellow color. And this is called Soft Ochre. And I'm putting that all over my lid, spreading it on the inside of my lid up to my brow. You don't want a heavy, concentrated color, so you want to really make sure that you blend it in. Okay, and now I'm going to take, for a highlight, a color from MAC called Rice Paper. Putting that on a brush. I'm just putting that right on the skin, right under my brow, and kind of blending that downwards. And that's going to act as the lightest shimmery part that we have under the eyebrow. And I'm just gonna take my finger and blend in the bottom of that color that we put in, just making sure that it's going to be seamless and the bulk of the color is right in here. Okay, and again, taking Saddle, the same color that I filled in my eyebrow with, putting that on a domed brush, I'm going to put that color in the crease of my eye, just kind of in the middle area there, working it up into our highlight, but not taking it too far. I still want some of that goldish color exposed. Now I'm going to take a dark brown from MAC. This is called Handwritten using that same domed brush, I'm going to put that right at this crease in my eye here. And the difference is I'm going to use a lot less pressure with this brush than I did with Saddle. With Saddle, I wanted to get a thick coverage of that from the crease of my lid all the way up to where the highlight ends. With this, I only want to get a concentrated color right in here, so I'm going to use a whole lot less pressure and just put a dusting of that on. I'm sure a lot of you watch the show True Blood and they came out Tarte. The company, uh, cosmetic company Tarte came up with this cool little palette. It's leather bound and, and neat looking um, and it is a True Blood themed palette. There are all the colors and I'm gonna use that purple right in the middle right there. And for those of you who are wondering about the quality of this product and the price point, I believe it was uh, like $53 or something like that. Um, the colors are very big. I haven't used them all. I've only had it for like a week. I've really been using that purple because I really like it. But I will say that the fallout of these eyeshadows is really bad. The pigment is really good, but the fallout is really bad. So that's something that you have to be careful with this product. So I'm gonna take that purple color. It is called Glamour Me. And keep that right in the edge of my eye. And again, I'm using a smaller domed brush than I had been before. That's because I really need this color to be precise. All right, and now that we have our purple on there, I'm going to go into one of my favorite new products. This is the Urban Decay uh, 15 year anniversary palette. As you can see, it's got a mirrored front. 
and when you open that box you get some really neat pretty pretty colors this one was $55 but the cool thing about it is it opens up and if you go like this the eyeshadows come right out and you're left with this cool little uh, velvety box on the inside which is pretty neat um, Urban Decay's products pretty much speak for themselves you see a lot of your favorite YouTube gurus speak about them and they're a quality product and Tarte's product I've never used any of their other products before including none of like I've ne never used any of their eyeshadows either um, but I just really was disappointed in the amount of fallout and Urban Decay is going to have fallout just like any other eyeshadow but it's a normal amount of fallout so I'm going to take this black called black out super jet black I love this and I'm going to go right over that purple just to intensify it except I'm gonna bring the black kind of further in and for the color on my lid I want to take this very pretty bronzy brown called deeper and I'm just going to put that all across my lid and that makes for a really lovely uh, look just by itself however now the really fun part I'm going to add some glitter because you guys know that I love glitter I'm gonna take my lit cosmetics base and just put some of that on the back of my hand and this beautiful glitter that's gonna be so cool for winter and fall this is called hot chocolate it's this brown on top and there's a look at it really stunning color again this one is also from the company lit cosmetics who I love 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 I'm just gonna pat some of that base on my eyelid I'm gonna kind of lift my brow to stretch out that skin and make sure that that wetness doesn't get onto the purple and black that I've placed down and I'm just going to dip that same brush into the glitter and just pack that right on there and I'm going to keep my eye closed just for a minute so as to make sure that I'm not making a mess of the moisture that's on my eye right now just gonna wait only a couple seconds and it'll dry now I'm gonna use this color again from my Urban Decay 15 year anniversary palette it is called flow it's this one right here it's kind of peachy and uh, the thing that I really love about Urban Decay's colors is that if you wet your brush with them because they're baked and they're shiny if you just wet your brush a little bit you can get a really concentrated color out of whatever eyeshadow you're using I'm taking that color with a damp brush and just putting that right on the inside of my eye okay and I've waited like two seconds for that to dry because it was only slightly moist you don't need to douse your brush you just need to moisten it a little bit and again coming back to that color saddle the same color that we filled in our eyebrows with the same color that I placed um, at the very start of the look I'm going to take a small domed brush and just create a slight contour moving this brush from the most narrow part of my nose up into my eyebrow just following that natural shading that my face already has and what this does is give the illusion of a more slim nose not that I think my nose is big or anything but it just perfects everything and this is why sometimes your favorite celebrities look like they have a nose job <laughs> alright now I could just take a wet wipe and clean up any fallout that I may have under my eye I've been out walking um, trying to lose some weight and it's been overcast but I still managed to get a tan but I'm kind of not like fully tan as dark as I could be still in between so I'm gonna use two different concealers I'm using NC 45 and NC 42 from Mac these are both studio finish concealers just taking my finger putting on the darker color first now I'm gonna put on the NC 42 
Now I'm gonna take Max Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. It's just a, a white powder. And set my concealer with that. In my last video, I showed you guys that they came out with a uh, compact, compressed version, version of this, which I love. And I was at a photo shoot the other day and I broke it. Ugh. And taking a synthetic haired angled brush and my wet and wild gel liner. Um, which, by the way, has anybody else noticed that they started to fill the jar like way less? If you could see the brim there, it used to be filled damn near to the top. And I'm pretty pissed about that. What the heck, Wet and Wild? Okay, and I really want my line to be on the thinner side, just so that the uh, glitter is really exposed. The thicker the line, the less of your lid you can see. And although I like a thick line with a lot of looks, I really want the, the main attraction of this look is the glitter, so I really want that to be seen. So I've got some of that product on my brush, and starting from the inner eye, I'm just going to make tiny little baby strokes and just pull that all the way across my lid. Okay, now that our line is on there, we can focus on the small point. Um, I guess it's not that small, but I am going to make a point for this look. So taking my brush and keeping my eye open, I'm going to just draw a little line right there where I want the point to end up and then another where I want it to connect. Okay, and for a really simple and pretty eyelash, I'm going to take number 43's. And um, these are slightly dramatic, but more on the natural side, or they're semi-believable. I put these often on brides. And the key to putting on eyelashes is to let the glue sit for a couple seconds so that it has a chance to become tacky otherwise it's just you're putting wetness up against your eye and it's not going to do anything it's got to have the chance to dry a couple seconds so that it becomes sticky okay so our lash is on there and we'll go back and add mascara in a minute now i'm going to put the glitter underneath my eye and the purple on the outer eye Again, taking my hot chocolate from Lit Cosmetics and applying the adhesive right under my eye in my lash line. I'm just taking a synthetic haired angled brush and just patting that right on to the inner eye. Okay, there you have it. And don't be surprised when you're dealing with particles that are flying around um, when and you have your eye open, you're going to get glitter in your eye. That's the unfortunate part. And eyeshadow as well. You're going to get eyeshadow in your eye if you put it under your lash line. I always do. And it kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? And again, taking my Tarte True Blood Palette and this purple that we used in the crease of our eye, I'm going to take a real haired angled brush. Again, remember that I said the fallout on this is crazy. So you're really gonna wanna tap it and get whatever access off. I'm using it on my own eye, so I'm gonna blow on it. And I'm putting that and working it on the outer corner of my lash line into the glitter but not all the way you want it to be glitter purple and you marry the two in the middle okay and I'm just dusting off whatever loose glitter or powder has come off if you do ever get some fallout under your eye it's okay try to dust it off first and if it smears you can literally just take a dab of your concealer and just blend it in and it'll come right out Blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche under the roller in the night. Okay, and I just want to take some more of that Wet n Wild eyeliner and 
line my waterline with it. Great! So with the exception of our mascara, the eye is done. And I am just going to put like a bajillion coats of mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, and for a contour, I'm going to use um, my favorite color to do contouring with. This is Blunt from MAC. And you can see, um, when you think of your contour, it should go from basically the line that is created from the top of your ear down to the corner of your mouth. But of course, you're not going to put your blush all the way up here. It's just figuratively speaking. It's this line right in here. So again, there it is, and I'm really blending that in. Then I'm going to take my big powder brush and just really make sure that that's blended. Right, so you see that leaves the illusion of super sexy defined cheekbones. And for my blush, I just picked up this color from MAC and I really, really love it. I think it's beautiful. It's called Breezy, semi-shimmery, kind of um, pinky, rosy color. Maybe some purple undertones. But you gotta be careful with this one because it's very pigmented. So I'm literally just going to pat it onto the ball of my cheek. Okay, and for the lips on this, uh, I was kind of torn. I want to do like a really fall, deep, dark lip, but I don't really think that dark lips look good on me. So for the sake of the video and for showing a lot of you who may love dark lipsticks, and I never do dark lipsticks, I'm going to mix two colors together. These two. Um, the dark purple is a color from Revlon and it's called Wine Knot. And the light color is a color from NYC and it's called Smooch. And when you mix these two together, you get this. And I actually, I'm okay with that lipstick, I guess. Yeah, so that completes our look. It is a very ushering in fall time look. And um, I can't wait. I cannot wait for fall. That's my season. I really hope that you guys can make use of a look like this. And let me close my eyes so you can see the whole shebang. Mm. So yeah, as usual, you guys can go to BeatFaceHoney.com in the blog section for a detailed list of all of the products that I've used. I hope that you're following me on Facebook and Twitter. There are links to all of these places down below in the information box. And I hope to see you right back here very soon. Thanks. Bye.